Hey, it's time for our pet of the week with the Blunt County Animal Center. Joining us now is Tracy Longhurst, as well as that sweet puppy. Hey, Tracy, tell us a little bit about who you have with you today. Well, Chelsea, thank you guys for having us on again this morning. Absolutely. Um, we usually bring big dogs on your show, but we have two super cute littles we thought we would introduce you guys to this morning. This is Derek, and Derek is an eight-month-old Australian cattle dog, blue healer. He has all of the herding dogs mixed into one, um, and he is available for adoption. Um, he has beautiful, different colored eyes, and something to think about with Derek um, he does have all the herding animals, like I said, all in one. So probably older children, because I mean, their tendency is to try to nip and herd and kind of, you know, keep everybody in the same location all the time. So older children would be good for him. Um, he hasn't been around lots of other animals. So definitely a meet and greet would be required for him before he went home with somebody. And he was found as a stray. So he is, he's available for adoption. He's looking for his forever home. And you actually mentioned his eyes are just so beautiful, but I'm looking at the coloring on his face. He's got white, gray, and black. Definitely a beautiful dog. And you know, you said Derek isn't the only animal you have with y'all today. You have a few puppies. Who else do you have for us to meet? Another super cute puppy we have is Miss Selma. Oh, so precious. Uh, so Selma is a little bit younger. She's two months old. And Selma was in a litter of seven, and she's the last one left. Wow, and, and she, she just seems so loving. She's just giving you all those kisses. <laughs> pretty much her all the time. I mean, she is very loving. Um, Selma is, her mama was a pit mix. We don't know what the daddy was, but her mom's about 40 pounds, and she's three years old. So Selma, you know, we're not sure how big she will be. Um, her paws aren't huge, but she is spade she's ready to go home absolutely and she just seems so sweet giving you all of those kisses hey you know if people are interested in maybe wanting to meet these puppies that you all have at the blunt county animal center what's the best way for them to do that so we are still close to the public and that's going to be through june so they're going to need to call and make an appointment and our appointment times are limited they're from 11 to 2 each day um but yeah when you call to make an appointment Everyone needs to try to have an idea in mind of which dogs or cats they want to meet since you can't walk through the building. Um, we've been trying to put some really cute photos and stuff on Facebook and Instagram to give people a better idea of the dog's personalities and who might be a good fit for them. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, just give us an idea of who you want to meet and maybe some things you're looking for. High energy, couch potato, those are always <laughs> good for us to know before we start bringing dogs out. Absolutely, and that is so important. You know, if you want a couch potato, having a high energy dog won't be a great match for you. But, hey, you know. You don't have a lot of time to spend with a dog. A puppy might not be good for you right now either because these guys are super young. They're going to need some training and lots of teeth. So they're going to need all of that attention because they're just like babies. <laughs> well, hey, you know, if you're at home watching this and you want to help these sweet animals find their forever homes, it'll be a great idea to head to Facebook and to their website to see who they have available. And you can set up your appointment with the Blunt County Animal Center to help these animals truly find their forever homes. We'll have all that information and more on our website at livingtennessee.com.